Hi guys, last time I did a video about um, cassette tapes, used cassette tapes that I bought online. Um, I'll see if I can link the video somewhere up here. So this time around I bought another batch. Um, these are a bit more expensive than the ones I bought last time. Uh, last time I bought uh, uh, quite a few pieces and the total cost per cassette was around 25 pesos this time around I have 11 um, I bought these for uh, 700 pesos including shipping so each tape is about 64 pesos each uh, a bit quite a bit more than what I paid for for the first one but this time I got uh, uh, type 2 cassettes last time I only had uh, uh, one type 2 but this time most of these are type 2 cassettes so let's uh, uh, check them out one by one so I've um, separated them by uh, by brand. So there are three brands here. So as you can see, uh, in this side this is a TDK. Here we have uh, all Maxell brands, and here we have a Denon brand. Um, most uh, most cassette tapes that I'm familiar with um, uh, when I was young were TDK, Maxell, and Sony. Uh, Denon was, or Denon, I don't know how to say it actually. Denon. Um, it's quite a rare, quite quite a rare cassette tape when I was young. I have only had one Denon cassette um, from my childhood I do have it here it's uh, this one it's a Denon DX1 90 minute tape and it's a type 1 so anyway let's get through the uh, batch uh, let's go with the TDK first so this one is a uh, TDK SA-C90 so it's a um, chromium oxide tape um, high bias so this is generally this generally means this is type 2 metal tapes are quite rare and expensive where I'm from so oh, by the way all of these are used uh, this one still has the uh, record tabs on and most of the cassettes are quite are quite clean um, I've checked these out already before showing it to you I stripped the labels on, on most of these things because typically uh, the number indicates the minutes the total number of minutes that you can record on the tape so this is 45 minutes on each side um, there is another one here we go um, SA-C60 also from TDK I, I like that the original inserts are still intact uh, this looks quite a bit old so it's a 60 minute tape uh, by the way I plan to uh, replace the contents of these tapes that's the reason why I bought them in the first place so that's another one from TDK so now curiously these are all quite similar 
except for this one this is just an SA90 these ones are SA-X90 now I don't exactly know what the X means but these are all type 2 it's indicated on the cassette so the SA90 it's um, it's quite a nice looking cassette I think it's only been used once and like I said the, they're quite clean pristine I guess the, the owner stored them in a nice place so this is the insert it still has the sticker labels in the case so this is the SA90 it's another 90 minute TDK type 2 cassette now these two are similar but if you notice the labels are different um, they are the model is the same SA-X90 but curiously although the cassettes are they have similar cases they have different prints so anyway these are similar cassettes so the SA-X90 again those are very clean and I guess they've only been used once so the next one is a Mac so now this is the only type 1 uh, in this batch that I bought um, it's in a, a TDK case but it's a Maxell C90 it's a nice looking cassette again the owner I think stored it in a very nice place so type 1 again it's very clean and uh, oh, the difference between a type 1 and a type 2 uh, compare it with the next Maxell so this is um, XL2 dash S so this is a type 2 cassette uh, if you notice this one is silver black label this one is uh, gold and black label now I like the packaging of this one So this is a 60 minute cassette, this one is a 90, but this one is type 2. There's the difference between type 1 and type 2. Um, it has a, the type 2 has an extra opening uh, beside the record tab. And um, ideally, the recorder would be able to recognize if the, the cassette is a type 2 or a type 1 because of that hole and if you can see the reel inside this one is a bit um, brownish and this one is quite dark it's very black so if we roll the cassette uh, the reel forward I'll show you so type two cassettes generally have darker a darker reel and the type one has more of a coffee brown tape to it see the difference so the other one is darker the other one is like mocha or coffee brown so yeah, the labels on these things are are just nice, really nice. I like them. So that's the Maxell Type 2. And this is the C90, the Type 1. So set them aside. So this is the last Maxell I have in the batch. This one is also an XL2. Uh, but this one is a 90 minute tape and if you see the it 
it's a quite a different kind of cassette you, you see a large window a big portion of the tape can be seen um, see it's, it's it's quite nice looking it's gray which is not very common for cassettes uh, when I was young they were usually black um, or the cream colored ones and of course most of the type ones were from Sony were trans NTDK were transparent uh, but I like how this looks so, 90 minute tape so on to the Denon um, I have two types these ones are the same so this is the HD8 90 cassette so it's the case is jet black and I like how the, again it's it's nice how this cassette looks so it's HD8 90 minute cassette from then on this is made in um, I think Denon and Maxell are made in Japan. I'm not sure about the TDK if it's made in Japan. So uh, this one and this one are the same. Although the case says HD6, um, the cassette inside is an HD8. Last one. This is a very curious one. It's an HD6, but instead of 90 or 60 or 120, it is 100. So I'm I'm not sure if this is a 100 minute cassette tape, which is quite quite odd. Um, usually it's uh, 60, 90 or 120. It's very rare to find a cassette that is 100 minutes, so that's 50 minutes per side if uh, I understand the labeling correctly. Again, this is a very nice looking cassette. It's a bit dirty. It's gray, so quite rare for a cassette to have gray. So, there you have it. Um, Another batch of used cassette tapes that I bought online. I quite for I spent quite a bit more for these than the previous one. So I got 11 TDK Maxell and Denon cassettes. So uh, uh, I still have a few. Uh, batches for review that I bought actually before these cassettes but uh, I thought I would share this to you first because uh, it's the first time I've had a big haul of type 2 cassettes that are quite nice um, in good condition so I will enjoy using these so if uh, you like the video like uh, subscribe if you can share the video if you want to so uh, again thank you for watching and enjoy